Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is my free tutorial on how to rig aircraft, mainly World War I biplanes. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell, that'd be brill. Thank you. So, here's my video on how I rig an aircraft. This is by no means a definitive way, it's up to you to research and do the rigging in a way that is best for you. 0.4 millimeter brass tube, 0.1 millimeter fine wire, a two millimeter jig that I've already previously built, link in the description, normal tweezers, reversible tweezers, and an old pair of snips, ones that you don't mind messing about with. First, we'll take a piece of wire, about two centimeters long, it doesn't have to be exact, and place it across our fingers like so. Next, take the brass tube and place it in the middle of the wire and press it down, making a V shape in the wire. And grasp the two ends between your thumb and first finger and give the brass rod a couple of twists just to put some twists into the wire. Taking your reversible tweezers, grab the two ends of the wire and give it a few more twists. Remove the reversible tweezers Grab your old snips and take the two legs off. The length of the twists all depends on what you're rigging. This is not set in stone, but more of a judgment call. Then you pop them in a receptacle you've prepared earlier to keep them in. Before we do that, let's have a close up. They are tiny. So there we have our eyelet made in its pot and ready to be glued to the pre-drilled holes on the wing. Next up we'll be making the turn buckle body. For the body you need 0.4mm brass or aluminium tube, a blunt scalpel or knife and a pair of tweezers. Take your tubing and the 2mm jig and butt the tubing up against the back wall of the jig, like so. Next, take your blunt knife and place it in the gap and begin to score the tubing, just like this. After a few backwards and forwards strokes, you're through the tubing. And you've lost the really small bit. Now, where are you hiding? Ah, there you are, you little tinker. There we have the turnbuckle body, just two millimeters in length. So let's pop that away with your other eyelets and turnbuckles and get ready for rigging. So here we have all the bits you'll need your eyelets and turnbuckles, rigging line, two pound fishing line, black CA, normal CA, your receptacle for the CA which is a paper cut from the golden arches with the bottom pushed in, just like this, two sets of reversible tweezers, scissors, two sets of normal tweezers, a sharp blade, and a pair of old pliers. There we have all our kit together. Now let's mix the CAs together. I do a roughly 50-50 mix of them and give them a damn good stir.
bugger, I almost forgot. Something to apply the CA mix. I'm using a good old cocktail stick. I'm using my 148th Edward F2B here. I'll be doing this wing just here. Only the one. Right, we're going to start with the eyelet. Grab it from your receptacle and we're going to test fit it first to make sure the hole hasn't been clogged with anything like paint or something. If it is, if it doesn't fit, re-drill the hole. Once you're happy with this and it fits, then dip the eyelet legs in the CA mix and fit it into the hole. When you've fitted this, make sure your eyelet is square to the direction the rigging line is going. In this case, the eyelet is parallel to the wing's leading edge. With the rigging line, I don't measure per se, but I usually do about two and a half to three times the approximate length it needs to be. The reason for this is it gives you a lot of working room outside the wing gap, rather than fiddling about in the wing gap, which can get a little cramped the further you go. The next part is personal preference. You can either thread the rigging through the eyelet first, as I'm doing here, or thread the turnbuckle on first. It's entirely up to you. I do both. All depends on my situation and how much room you have. Next, we take our reversible tweezers, collect our turnbuckle from the receptacle using a normal pair of tweezers, if you can find a bleeding thing. There we go. Then place a turnbuckle in between the reversible tweezers, like so. Here I'm just checking the holes at the ends of the tubes to see if the holes need widening or there's anything blocking them. If they do need widening, use a very pointy implement to widen them. I'm using my normal tweezers as they are very pointy. Now we come to the fun, frustrating part, threading the turnbuckle. I have my normal angled tweezers for this bit as I've found it gives me better grip on the line. This next bit is also about personal preference. How far from the end of the rigging line do you grip the line? Really all depends. I've found anywhere from five millimeters, approximately up to two centimeters. It's what you feel comfortable with. If you're wondering, I very rarely wear my Optivisor as I find it can get in the way. But again, it's all down to what you prefer and what you find comfortable.
once you have one end in, then very gently feed it through the turnbuckle. Once it comes out the other side, then draw it gently through the tube. Just like that. Now, taking the other end, we need to be careful on this part. We need to feed the other end of the line through the hole the same way as we did the first line. If not, it gets wrapped around the turnbuckle the wrong way. Also, when you're threading the opposite end of the rigging line, when you've got the top wing on, be aware of which end you need to thread it through. As it changes, you have to flip the turnbuckle 180 degrees and thread it through the opposite way. Here I found the tube was blocked by a lip on one end so I had to take the line out get my pointy implement in there and give it a good old wiggle to resolve the issue. Now we've got that resolved, let's get these lines re-threaded. There we have those re-threaded. Now we can draw the turnbuckle down to the eyelet. To do this we clamp one end of the line with reversible tweezers, a couple of centimetres away from the turnbuckle, just like this, and then gently draw the turnbuckle down, like so. Then using normal tweezers we can gently get the turnbuckle into place. Now loading up our CA glue applicator, Reed Cocktail Stick, we can put a small dob of our CA mix on the end of the turnbuckle to fix the line into place. Give the CA glue a few seconds to go off, get your sharp knife or scissors and remove the shorter end. Be careful where you cut as it can be extremely frustrating cutting the wrong end. Trust me, I've done it. Mm -hmm. 
and there we have our finished rigging line if it ever focuses come on ah there we go i'm pretty happy with that let me know what you think in the description anything you'd like to add anywho thank you for watching this free rigging tutorial if you want to see what happens on my channel then please subscribe help it grow like the video leave a comment and ring my bell remember folks stay safe keep on modeling